and you go crazy. Hello. DJ UTV, let them know who we got in the building. Yeah, what's good, y'all? This is girl, Nike Nicole Hendricks, better known as Toxic. Mix Toxic, what you want, gang? Shit, chilling, smoking on the wood, what's good? Man, let the folks know where you calling from. You see it right now, I'm out in Vegas, but, you know, I'm from Iraq, low end and no end, straight to the lake. True, true. What, what's going on out there in Vegas? Shit, um... It's fight night this weekend, so it's busting out here. Yeah. You going to the fight or you going to be around the fight? I'll be around the fight. <laughs> it's all, all, everything's sold out, so. But I'm, I literally say like five minutes from the trip, so. Okay. So you say you're from Chicago? I'm around. I'm sorry, what you say? I'm around. For sure, for sure. Now, you say you're from Chicago, the low end, right? Uh, you could tell us what it was like for you growing up on the low end? Yeah, um, it was basically easy for me, shit, because, you know, I'm one of the guys, so, you know, it is what it is. I never, it was rough, of course, being for the project, but I ain't really had no problems. I know how to fight, and I was whooping ass to take the name. So, I never had, never had a problem. And I was, you know, the fan favorite. Okay, now I heard you say you was, you ain't really had no problem because you was one of the guys. That's what you said? Mm-hmm. Okay, so as far as, as far as your sexuality now, were you always, uh, uh, were you always a boy or did you, I don't even know how I'm trying to ask this. Yeah, I think when, that when, came when, out totally wrong. When, when was, when was, when did you go from one of the guys to one of the girls is what I'm asking. I'm sorry. Um, well, shit, I've been like this way since I'm like 20. You say but, 20? Um, you say 20? Yeah, like 20. Yeah. Okay. I'm in my late 20s now. Okay. So, so for the first 20 years of your life, you was one of the guys. I'm still one of the guys. I'm a member. True. Okay. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Well respected. I don't play that. Right. But literally Google me. The fuck? But you know what I'm trying to ask you though, the transition. Okay, so you say it was around age twenty and um t- Nah, yeah, around like nineteen. Okay. I was like nineteen. Okay. And she I never looked back. Okay. Um, but can you tell us like the um the emotions you were going through, uh the things that were going through your mind, like what was it about? Um I mean, well, me being the oldest child for my mama out of, you know, four siblings. I was the oldest, so all my brothers was younger than me, so they knew but I still was like I was I was like the black sheep, so I was out of the house around like seventeen. Sixteen, seventeen. I was already at the house, so it was like, I was letting my brothers, them, you know, grow up their own experience. You know, I have like, one of my brothers is like 12 years younger than me. So he's like, really like the baby. So I just let, you know, it was what it was. I went around the crib. I was doing my own shit. I was Vanessa. Okay. So, so you grew up around all boys. You had all brothers. Yeah. Okay. Now that's, that. now that's very interesting. Right. So. Mm-hmm. What was what was what was it about being a woman that it what what was it that attracted you to wanting to be a woman? See, when I grew up, that I really didn't know shit about that. So it was like you either this or that. And by me growing up in the projects and shit, and who my people was, that wasn't really allowed. So once I found out about the um this whole new life or whatever, I wound up trying it out. And she had, um, that night I had went out there and she I had made a whole bunch of motherfucking money. Like twelve hundred dollars. Doing what? At this time. This was like ten years ago. 
So see, that was a bitch. I'm not working no job no more. You went outside. You made that much. You you made that much money doing what? Huh? You said tricking you had, these niggas. You said tricking, tricking these niggas. niggas. Yeah, not tricking them. They knew what it was, but that's what it was. They were tricking. Okay. So what did that what 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 did that consist of? You know what what were you tricking them out of? I want tricking them out of shit. They were giving it to me willingly. I want tricking shit. Okay. I want tricking them out of shit. Now it's time to see my fuckers really know what it is. But I did look like a bitch all my life, so it's like, especially when I became a girl, it was like I wasn't even, you know, I don't really get food around the hood. Or know where I'm at. Right. Cause I'm just a hood, a hood bitch already. So it was like automatically instilled it. Trap bitch, bad. For sure, for sure. Okay, cool. Now I appreciate that. You know, you you know this this interview is uh, it's 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 a unique one already. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we, yeah. You know, so we not go ignore the obvious. Um, yeah. You know, DJ UTV. We kind of like the hottest platform in chicago right now you know we're doing real good so it's a blessing to talk to you right now just because you can give us a perspective that we have not gotten from anyone else you know what i'm saying yeah that, it's back to me and it's not a lot of bitches who really live their life it's not a lot of bitches who really live that real trap life bitches say they did from chicago this and that you never really lived their life and really was about their life like literally i was about their life okay. like i live both worlds Literally, and still do. So, it is what it is. So, so tell us around what um what age did you jump off the porch? When did you you know get into the street life? Who introduced you to the street life? See, my thing. I was out. I was always wrong before my time because I used to I used to dance all my life. I used to dance for Infamous Bang Page too. Final phase, you know, I was a dancer, so I was always around older people. And I was like the youngest at the time. I've been dancing, I was like seven, eight years old. Banging down King Drag. So, it was like I was always around older kids and older people. And it was automatically instilled in me. Then my big cousin, you know, all my cousins was older than me. So they was already doing that shit, going to the way out, you know. I'm in a route and shit, you know, I'm 10 years old, 11 years old at right. the route. Right. So, you know, I, I already experienced it. I was like, I already too grown for my age. Okay. Okay, cool. So, now you jump off the porch. Now, I'm not too familiar with, you know, obviously your background, your criminal history, nothing like that. But we, but, 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 but what I do know is, you, you obviously done had, um, done to, done to spend some time in Cook County Jail, correct? Yeah, I spent a lot of time in Cook County Jail. How much time have you spent in Cook County Jail? No, um, I wound up getting locked up around like, about like, twenty one, but I was in and out. But the last, the longest bit I did was literally like a year and it was like upstate. I was in Mount Sterling. But Cook County was like I was in and out a couple of months and then I was in and out for like a whole year before. And that was my last time to deal. Okay. Okay. And that was like twenty motherfucking what, sixteen? Twenty I mean I mean twenty fourteen or some shit. Twenty fifteen, I don't know. Okay, cool. So, during your time in Cook County, which wasn't that long, as you stated, was there ever time where you had spent some time in PC? They automatically put me in PC. Okay, so do they, you see my? Do you see how I look? Right. They not put me in general population. Right. So, so it is. So it is true that all transsexual people go to PC like automatically. Yeah, automatically. Okay. That's cool. what they. That's what it used to be when I was, what my experience of it. I don't know what they're doing now, but yeah, automatically PC. Right, right. Ain't no choice. 
Now, you know, one of the most famous rappers from Chicago, King Lil J, you know, he blow up in all the blogs. And, um, you know, we had an interview with this guy named Bloodbath earlier this year. And, you know, he said Lil J was in PC, you know, doing this and that. Do you remember seeing Lil J in PC when you were there? Yeah, I grew up with Lil J, too. So. so you grew up with Lil J, so you know him. Yeah. So, based upon what you know, how true are the rumors we hear about them? See, because, you know, when I did that when I did that interview, you know, that's when you reached out to me, and I received a lot of backlash, you know, from it, as if I was, like, you know, painting some narrative against him, you know, and, and, and that was just some information I received. I, that wasn't my objective. But I'm asking you, you know, you know, how true are those rumors, to your knowledge? I don't, I don't know. Me and him never dated. So I don't know what he was doing with other people before I was there, because he was there, like, probably a whole year or something before I was there, before I got there, or two years, probably. Okay. So I don't know what he was doing before I got there, but we weren't really on the deck too long together. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, um, that's interesting, right? Um, Going back to the bloodbath interview, when it first, you know, when it first dropped, um, yeah, what happened? He had he 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 name dropped a couple guys, you know, that um, Lil J had mixed, uh, what he said, miss miss sexual conduct, some I don't know, some disciplinary tickets, and um, he included two names, right? So I won't say those two names, but you know, you reached out to me on Facebook. You said, man. Take my name out your interview. You know what I'm saying? And we went yeah. back. We went back and you know, we bleeped it out, you know. Um so what 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 when you when you when you heard about that, what was your reaction? Like who who brought it to your attention? You know what I'm saying? Tell us about that when you heard about the bloodbath interview. That's because as I said, I'm very well known. So of course somebody ran up hit me up and was like they were talking about you in the interview. So I'm looking like, what this interview is about? I'm like, okay. They sent it to me. And then what they were talking about, I was just like, I don't, I don't get down like that. So for a motherfucker to be really like in my business or whatever going on or mention my name, don't mention me. Period. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, cool. Especially with some gay ass shit like that. I don't play that. Okay, cool. Now, me and LJ have been on each other for years. We basically family. My uncle used to go with his mama. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, now when Bloodbath mentioned these names, you know, they were giving... I don't that, know who the fuck is Bloodbath. Who the fuck is that? Right. Who is it? Never heard of him. So for him to be mentioning me, I'm like, I didn't get it. Okay. Um, and then you must be a fan who really have time out of their day to really be focused on the next man anyway. I don't get it. Okay, cool. Now, the question that I really have, you know, in response to your response is, out of all the names, right, and we know that Cook County Jail on 26th in California it's, 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 it's bigger than the college campus. You know what I'm saying? There's so many people that's sitting in Cook County Jail, right? True. So how did your name end up in those type of allegations? Because I was, sure. the most, I was one of the most popular bitches in there. I was the coldest bitch there. Of course. Of course they would put my name in some shit like that. I'm one of the coldest bitches in the county. I'm 30 inches. Long ass nails, lashes, all that. When I came to there, and I still had that shit my whole time doing there. They never seen a bitch like me step in Cook County. I was having niggas check into PC. <laughs> Did they tell you that? You was having niggas check into PC. In and out, yes. So check in. They to never seen a bitch like me come through Cook County. My name rang bells through every part of the jail, literally. 
I was whooping bitches' ass, whooping niggas' ass, all that. I don't play that. Don't play with me. Okay. So you say you was that bitch. You had niggas checking in. Now we know Lil J to be that nigga. You you ain't make Lil J I mean, check in? To who? Lil J been in there. I did just simply say Lil J been there two years before I got in there. Lil J was on a high profile case. A very high profile case. Which he could be and, and back up rapping, I guess, he couldn't be around the normal inmates. So they um he was at Max P C. How I got over there is because I wound up whooping the hoe in Division Six and um wound up throwing some piss on the officer and they upgraded me. Okay. They upgraded me to Division Dad. And that's how me and Lil J restart each other again when I first got there. But he had I had already been in jail for like probably two months before I even went to man. And Lil J never been over there. Okay, cool. And I'm not gonna make Lil J Lil J duck I I mean um what's um his friend name? Butter. I mean his rappy Butter Butter and a whole bunch of other motherfuckers. Hold on, you say Butter was in PC too? Yeah. Whoa. Hold on now. Hold on now. If y'all Google, if y'all Google, if y'all was, y'all know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Hold on now. We just, we just had, we just, we just had. We just had yeah, Butter. y'all knew Butter been in PC. Yeah, yeah, he's in PC. Hold on, did you see our interview with Butter though? No, I don't pay attention to shit like that. Like, this is not on my man. Hey, don't act like you don't be watching DJ UTV, though. No, I'm not saying it like that. No, not saying it like that. No offense to you. Not saying it like that, but I really don't like... If it don't have shit to do with me, I don't really get in such shit like that. Only thing on my man is get rich. Okay, so you or say... Or that plan. So you say, butter, <laughs> so you say butter was in PC, though. Yeah, y'all know butter was in PC. If y'all uh, pull up his name in the Cook County record, they show you everywhere that everybody is, where every inmate is. And if y'all know the county, y'all should know the vision man and the levels and all types of shit that they have going on in the county. I'm sure a lot of your homies have probably been there. A lot of my homies? I mean, well, any, you know, you don't know nobody who's in Cook County, ever. You don't have no friends that ever been to Cook County. I don't know nobody that's been in PC. But tell us I'm what Butter what, what, what butter got going County. on in PC. I, I have no idea. Man, PC, PC sound like a scary place. It sound like a dark place. It actually, it, it actually was fun as hell. She says it's actually fun as hell. It was. I say it was. I was. Yeah, you have to make the you know you gotta make the best of your time, so you gotta do something. I'm sure um the regular deck was dark too. Okay, cool. So general population was dark too. So check this out. I mean I I, I know it is, you know, just being in jail is dark, period. It's know? what it's really the same shit though, like being realistically. Like I I don't get what people be doing the most over like that type of shit. They be like these be your people, these are your same homies in here. Or you got your ass whooped on the deck or something, now you over here. So it's like, it can be just like that. <laughs> so it's like, you, your inmate or your car is no different from nobody in PC. You feel me? I or do y'all disagree? I'm listening to you. Do you agree or disagree? I'm like, I don't know. I had to like, I had to stop myself, <laughs> you know, because I just wanted to listen to you speak, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not going to act like I talk to people, you know what I'm saying, like yourself often, you know what I mean? So it got to the point where I just wanted to listen to you and, you know what I'm saying, kind of like, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not so average, I'm not, I'm not so average, you know, I'm not so average woman. Woman, yeah, because I mean, there's nothing about me that you know, scream or yell, you know, 
friend. I don't really, you know, I do regular shit. So tell us some of the challenges you face being a transgender woman. I, it's really not a um, big challenge. It's just like having to feel, probably having to feel boys. That, that's like the biggest challenge. I just really don't. What'd you say? Say it again. I'm sorry. Shit. You said having to sell boys. What'd you say? Yeah, have or having to feel like you trans. I feel like that be the thing. So you you never know with guys. So it's a lot. I'm sure it can. I'm sure it can be dangerous, right? So when you're interacting, when you're interacting with these different type of men, do they know that you packing down low the same way they packing or? Excuse me? I said, when you're dealing with these type of men, do they know that you're packing down low the same way they packing or do you keep that on the low? I don't know what you're talking about. No, but, um, Seriously though, um, me I just usually tell them, like, cause I don't play like the cat and mouse games. Like, it's twenty twenty three. I'm not about to, like, either you are gonna be with it or you're not. So I'm not about, I'm I'm not into like really tricking people. I don't trick people. But but hold on now, you gotta tell me what you mean by that. You say you either with it or you not. What you mean? Well, like I'm not I'm not like going under disguise like. I don't know what I am, but I'm not going around yelling it either. But if somebody approached me and happens to try to have interest, interest in me, I'm not going to like go to the next level unless they know. I'm not into like tricking people. That's just not my style. Even though I know I look like a bitch, but I'm not into tricking people. If you like me, you're going to like me, regardless. And then I'm up seeing it work. So, this is like, trans is a new black. Okay. Like, 2023. It's all over the TV screen. So, who got time to, like, really treat people? I don't have time for it. It's, that's dangerous, first of all. I mean, it's not, like, this subject ain't trending. Now, going back to your Cook County experiences, right? I heard you say you be having niggas check in and you check out. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know what I'm saying, if you could throw out a number, how many niggas come in the county straight as hell, gangsta as hell, tough as hell, but low? All of them. I just think the toughest of the toughest get broke down like a pimp. Hold on, you say it one more time? I said, I don't see the toughest of the toughest get broke down. Mm. Especially if the white bitch comes through. Now, do so, these do, now do these be men that be like liked up? They, they looking at a lot of time, like they finna be gone for a long time, or these are these men? Hell no. Hell no. These niggas are regular county fans. There'll be no niggas doing, they make the only one. It'd be they said that is like safe into like jail for like the man will probably be like a safe place where they can do it and they can feel and they hear that it's all right. Now I was locked up, you know, some shit like that. They're like, no, you really want you been want to do this, so <laughs> just get get it over with and live back to the and go back to your straight life because that's what they do. I've seen the toughest of the toughest get broke down. They come up, put their dicks in chuck holes, all types of shit. So it's like, <laughs> you can't be serious with me. So for sure. I don't take niggas, I don't take niggas serious, so. So nowadays, as far as your dating life, right, do you pursue straight men or gay men or other trans? I like, like gay boys. 
I like gay boys. I like gay men who look straight and act straight and know what the fuck they want. So what you consider... All my niggas be in the hood. What you now, cons- straight man pursue me. But me, I'm not looking for no straight nigga. Or a checker for them. Unless they got a check. Hello? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just, you know, I was just wondering, you know, as far as, you know what I'm saying, how your love life is concerned, you know? I'm not I'm not looking for no niggas, but I, I meet niggas on the daily. I'm in Las Vegas. That's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. So, so I don't have that problem where, like, I don't, I can't go, walk the streets and, you know, I, you know, I live a regular life. Hey, I know you got the OnlyFans. I know you got the OnlyFans. Promote, definitely promote your OnlyFans. Tell them where to find you at, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, you know, do that. It's OnlyFans.com. Nasty story, N-A-S-T-Y-C-O-R-I. Subscribe. And, 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 and for the record, you know, let them know right here on DJ UTV, you are a trans woman, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. We just wanted to make sure it wasn't no confusion, you know? And I want to thank you so much, you know, for being our first trans here on DJ UTV. This is a milestone, you know what I mean? This is a, you know, like, we steady breaking new barriers. We steady crossing those boundaries. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so grateful for you. Like, this is amazing. That's what's up. No, this is amazing. Whole yeah, time, whole time, whole time. No, nah, for real. What? And the motherfucker might think I'm trying to be funny, but I'm really not. Because this is my first time in my life. I'm 31 years old. You feel me? Born and raised here mm-hmm. in Chicago, Illinois. This is my first time being able to, like, actually have a conversation with a trans woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, and I'm just being completely honest. I mean, honest, well, right? like, I mean, yeah, but if you, if you secure yourself, then it should be a problem with having a conversation with anybody. For sure. Because I'm sure everybody got somebody like this in their family. Like, For sure. what the fuck you gonna do? Not talk to your cousin or... Like, that's weird. That's weird shit. Nah, for sure, for sure. I mean, being from the hood, everybody go run and cook some, someone someday. So, but it's good that, you know, this opportunity came about. Okay. I said it's a classic already, you know? Well, we going to wrap it up, Lanaya. You got any shout outs you want to give, you know, let the folks know who came and got the interview with you. Nah, I ain't got no motherfucking shout out. You ain't got no shout out. Stop playing. <laughs> what you want? Nah, I'm playing though. Um, shout out to DJ UCV for this interview. And shit, that's about it. Follow me and scrap. Follow you, subscribe to where I'm waiting on you to give them your socials and shit. You can follow me on Instagram at toxic, T-O-X-I-Q underscore Tori, T-O-R-I underscore. And then you can follow me on Facebook at Naya Nicole Hendricks. And then follow me on OnlyFans at Nancy Tori, N-A-S-T-Y T-O-R-I. And that's it. That's why I'm so I'm so grateful for you chopping it up with us tonight. Hold on. Hold on, I got some sound effects, right? Hold on. <laughs> DJ U T V Lanaya Hendrix. So like you say, and, and and to sum it up in conclusion, right? You ain't got nothing to do with with with, with Lil J. I just I just told you I'm not thirsty for no shit like that. Like 
No. You know how the fans oh. be. We just wanted to make that clear. In the meantime, no. in between time, hey, look, this 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 this, this a classic for show. Sure. I just want to thank you for, you know, taking your time out, taking the time out of your day to chop it up with us. You know, for sure, for sure. All right, you do it, man. Hey, you go crazy!